Gary, remember back in the day when you needed a match to turn on your headlights? Yeah, me neither. This is from a Ford Model T 1914. This is the engine inside of it, a sight you don't get to see very often, even if you do once in a while get to see the vehicle itself. Uh, definitely a unique vehicle, and uh, expert Matt Anderson here to tell us a little bit more about what makes this engine just so spectacular. Yeah, the Model T's engine is, is a marvel of simplicity. It's a four-cylinder engine with a, a one-piece monoblock casting, so all four cylinders in one part, which reduces the cost in building it and then selling it. It's got no water pump. It uses a thermosiphon effect. The water kind of circulates based on the heat. It goes up, falls through the radiator, comes back down. And uh, no fuel pump either. It's all gravity feed. And no electric starter either on the Model T until 1919. You need to crank it. You get actually a little bit of a workout before you uh, hop in the car. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, you get your exercise for the day. Only about 20 horsepower, top speed 40, maybe 45 miles an hour. Fine in 1914, not so good by the mid 1920s when the Model T's finally phased out. Okay, well, fortunately, Ford didn't stop there. He continued building cars, continued updating, coming up with new models, and we've got Ford, the Ford Model A, also the engine exposed, hanging out there for all to see. What are we looking at here, and how did it change? Yeah, this is the Model A, which is the successor to the Model T. This is far more modern, far more advanced all around. Of course, it had the electric starter from the beginning. It's a little more horsepower, larger displacement, a faster top speed, and the car itself is also more comfortable and a little more modern than than the Model T. Yeah, it looks beautiful, and you all have kept them in such great shape. It's really fun to see the change over time. So that was 1930. Now we move to 1932, the Ford V8. Cabriolet, the V, a V8 engine. Yeah, this is Henry Ford's last big breakthrough. This is a, an affordable V8 engine. Now, V8s were available in expensive cars before this. You could get them in Cadillacs, for example, but of course they cost Cadillac prices. Here he's managed to build one in such a way that he can keep the cost down to just $500. That's amazing. We were talking about this, that back in that time, it would take you almost a year's worth of salary to, in order to buy a car, but you could buy this car with half a year's salary really, really advanced. So this is available to you, the public, 9.30 a.m., seven days a week, and you can even get a, a tour with Matt, the man himself. Uh, that's not all the time, though, so you will have to go to their website to find out more about that. So thank you so much. You guys, so much to see and do here. I'm going to toss it back to you in the studio.